Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Our people say they love God. But let's see if they truly love God. Give me John, 1 John 2 and 4. Because God will tell you if you love him or not. So we're going to see if you love God. Got it? Read. It's the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in him. He that saith he loved God. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans just walking around and saying, oh, I love God. God knows my heart. He says, if you don't keep his commandments, you are a liar. Read. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Bam. There it goes. He says it plainly and clearly that he that does his commandments shows that he loves him. Now, our people say God don't hate. God hates a lot of things, but we're going we're gonna to show you a couple things that God do hate. Okay, and if you're in these things, God's going to tell you that he hated. Give me uh, Proverbs 6 and 16. Read. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 16. Bring it out. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven of them are an abomination unto him. A proud look. A proud look. So we're going to show you what God hates. He hates these things. So our people to walk around with their face and their necks stretched up like you can't tell them nothing. He says he hates that. A proud look that you can't tell nobody or give them advice. They know everything. Read. A proud look. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. Our people are the number one liars. They lie every day. They lie waking up saying that they love God and, 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 and don't keep his commandments. They're liars. Read. Right. And hands that shed innocent blood. Shed innocent blood. Now, whose people shed innocent blood? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the other nations. But we ain't talking about them right now. We're talking about you so-called blacks, and Hispanics, and Native Americans. You sit around and you shed innocent blood. Y'all lie on the corners and, and, and figure out ways how you could kill your other brothers. All right. Read. In heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Heart. We hear people... Uh, say, uh, God knows my heart. But what is your heart? According to the scriptures. Because the Bible explains everything. Got it? Get, read it. It's the book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. So is God telling, telling you that out of men, read that again. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Because this thing that what you think is your heart, it, it's only a vessel that pumps blood. God is telling you what come out of your mind, what you think of, that's your heart. Evil thoughts, that's where they come from. Read. Evil thoughts, proceed, evil thoughts, adultery, adultery, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within and defile the man. What, you, what the uh, brother just read, the uh, 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 soldier just read, he's showing you anybody that's following what he just read, you are in the midst 
of sin. Go back to where we was. Got it? Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Which we read what heart was. That's your mind. Read. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Our people, instead of running from trouble or trying to avoid trouble, they run to the trouble. They want to go and see what's going on. If someone's fighting or brawling over there, they want to run right to it and see what's going on. God says don't do that. You should be going the opposite way. All right. Read. A false witness that speaketh lies. We got that in our neighborhood. We got that in the black, Hispanic, and Native American community. We have that all day. Y'all be among it. Read. And he that sows discord among brethren. Now discord to call among brothers. That's you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans sowing discord. Discord is anything going against the Bible. If you're supposed to be a, with the Bible or with the Most High says, and then you go and say something other than that to cause divisions among your people, it's discourse. Now, oh, finish. That's it. Okay, give me Revelations 21 and 8. Because we're going to show you what God hates. It's your actions. It's your ways. It's how we live. God hates, but he's going to tell you what he hates. Got it? Yep. Read. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and, li and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So the point being, if you don't follow the God's law, statutes, and commandments and start changing your ways, you're going to fall right in there with that fire brimstone. Now who is it again? Read that again. But the fearful, fearful. You can't be fearful. A lot of our people's fearful. We might come across and give them the law, statutes, commandments, but since their friends might be around here, they might not want to sit here and listen to it because they are afraid what their friends might say. Read. But the fearful and unbelieving. And unbelieving because they're unbelieving because if you believe, you're going to sit and stand bold. No one can tell you to go somewhere else. And the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You're going to get that second death. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.